This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. Uh. At least until we've done what we came to do.
her eyesight is I beg your pardon I don't imagine the poachers fed her well and from a distance we probably exactly like to eat her. Hebridean's love sheep how lucky for us watch your step Starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. Ugh. Quiet, what was that? It's a little too warm if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Look, I 
There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is everyone Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. 
From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. Oh, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this.
I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. You made it! I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumour was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumour, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Revelio. about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Confringo! It's another aggressive one! Foi 
papers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Confirm them! Revelio. Rebellion. Confringo. Bombarder. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Being protected. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Rebellion. Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipas and now this. We need to find moths for those spinners. Akio.
again. Lumos. 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 Another obstacle. No matter. Revelio. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Akio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Kung 
Gringo! Revelio! Rebellion. Lumos. 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 Merlin, it's beautiful. Lumos. You did it! I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Rebellion. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind.
Revelio. It's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. Confringo. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. <sighs> We've Rebellion. found it. It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Oh, how's your Gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps Gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. say we know where the Moonstone goes. to see even one. They only ever happen under a full moon, though I suppose the Moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two Mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually I... Got... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. 
A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous, and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the moon calves made. And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone? Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best, deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. 
I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Grand's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Dora... Revelio. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Rebellion! I wonder if the pillars move at all. Rebellion. Perhaps it has 
has to do with the light and the darkness. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now, I'm afraid I must leave you. Revelio. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. Confringo. This place must have been built to protect them. Revelio. They have nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Let me go. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it.
Good finger. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? Leviosa. Accio. Indonium Leviosa. Accio. Indonium Leviosa. Accio. Indonium Leviosa. Revelio. Accio. Indonium Leviosa. Confringo. Glacier. Look at this place. Revelio. of you unharmed. I... Revelio. ...turn before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Doran. You fought with us against your mind. I am glad to have done this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elec. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass.
there. There they are. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us? Rebellion. 